Today in the Daily Dose, Sumerian Tablets of Ancient Mesopotamia. Meaning two rivers in Greek, ancient Mesopotamia, or the Fertile Crescent, was a region that flourished for 10,000 years between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, spanning many of today's Middle Eastern nations. During the 4th millennium BC, the Sumerians in the southeastern part of Mesopotamia developed the oldest known written language using a Sumerian script known as cuneiform, comprised of wedge-shaped characters believed to have originated in 8000 BC. Initially, the script took the form of pictograms on small clay tokens, which were used to graphically represent the exchange of goods and livestock as trade spread throughout the city-states of the region. In a crossover evolution of language, first deduced by French archaeologist Denis Chamant Besserat in the 1970s, over the course of many millennia, cuneiform tokens evolved into a writing form, incorporating the first use of an alphabet. Merchant and courtly scribes used tablets made of clay, inscribing their moist surface using a variety of materials, including stone, metal, and wood before setting a finished tablet face up to harden in the sun. Most Sumerian tablets could be recycled by soaking them in water to form new blank surfaces, although the ones that have survived into modern times were fired in kilns to create a permanent record. Used widely by a number of competing Mesopotamian city-states, including the Akkadian, Elamite, and Hittite tribes, the name cuneiform was first applied to the ancient script by Engelbert Kampfer in 1700, while German scholar George Friedrich Grotefend made the first successful translation of the Sumerian cuneiform language in 1892. Considered a language isolate, which means there is no current comparable language in use, some 500,000 to 2 million Sumerian tablets have been unearthed in the Fertile Crescent with only a small number fully translated to this day. The last dated cuneiform text has been carbon dated to sometime around 75 AD, although many scholars believe that the script continued to be used intermittently until sometime around 300 AD, making Sumerian tablets and cuneiform script a weighty precursor to the discovery of paper. And there you have it. Sumerian Tablets of Ancient Mesopotamia. Today in the Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with the Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.